This is the brand new 2022 Sea Ray 320 Sundancer Coupe. And do you know what I like about it? It's got twin 6.2 litre V8 Mercruiser petrols. It sounds unbelievable. I'm gonna give you a full tour of the boat. I'm gonna tell you the pros and the cons, and then I'm gonna do a full finance example. I'm gonna do fuel costs, running costs, general maintenance, and then lastly, I'm gonna give you my overall score for the boat so you know exactly if you wanna buy this boat or not. But before I start, if you enjoy watching the channel and walking around the boats with me, then please press that little subscribe button and the bell. So let's do it. Now what makes this boat unique in the market is it's a 32 foot cruiser with four berths, which I'll show you. But Sea Ray came up with the concept of making more use of the bow. And their bow riders have been popular for years. So they mixed a cruiser with a bow rider. So what you get is this lovely use of space here. And actually, this is the kind of space you'd get on a 60 foot Fairline or Princess. Look, as you know, I'm six foot one, a bit overweight, but look, I'm really comfy here. And you can adjust these up and down. Look, and I can get two other people with me here. But what's clever is down below here is the full accommodation that you'd normally expect of a Sundancer. So you're kind of buying a 32 foot bow rider and a 32 foot uh, cruiser. So I think that's quite clever. And also, you feel really safe. There's nice deep walkways, the rails are at a nice height, and it feels really spacious. Got cup holders, got music, got sun beds. The only thing we haven't got is some sunshine in sunny Southampton today, it's a bit overcast. So I think this really makes the boat really nice. And it's a lovely cover that fits all over it. Look at that stainless anchor. Don't you just love stainless anchors? So let's go and have a look at the back of the boat. Okay, so what I like about this 320 Sundancer is the huge bathing platform. Now this customer's opted for Flexi Teak, which we haven't fitted yet. So please excuse the non-slip decking at the moment. But you've got this big platform and you've got this high-low platform here which I really like because look how quickly it goes. I've never seen a high-low platform, and I've tested a few, that goes as quick as this. So get ready, got to be quick. Here we go, wow. And back up again. How quick is that? So I think that's really cool. Um, also, Sea Ray have thought about every single detail in this boat. So as soon as you walk onto the boat, you're met with all the switches. So I don't know if you can see just in here, we've got the uh, port and starboard engine switches, the house batteries, we've got a little light, they've even put a little light in there, look, for there. We've got the water and we've got the trip switches and the shore powers. It's really, really handy place to put it. And while we're here, it's also got a fantastic boot where you can put your blow-up tender, your leads, fenders, and other bits and pieces. And everywhere I look, it's built beautifully and really, really strongly. So look at these hinges, look at these hinges. Big quality stainless steel hinges. You can tell this boat is a Sea Ray. These are also um, LED lights. This boat's fitted with Skyhook and these kind of spin round in multi-colours to show you if the boat's in gear or not, just in case if there's people nearby or you want to know if the boat's safe to be swimming near. Lots of really well thought out stuff. So let's have a look at the cockpit. Okay, so the cockpit on this boat for a 32 foot boat is absolutely massive. You've got the barbecue here which is the standard Kenyan type. This boat's brand new, please excuse the instructions. You've got the sink. You've got a big bottle fridge here for all your champagne and water, if that's what you want. Um, look at this table, exquisitely made. Lovely detailing, all teak corking and what have you. Um, 
lots and lots of floor space. Can you see all the little lights, the blue accents on the lights, the stitching and all the seats? It's very, very beautifully made. And you can see all the perforated and the different textures. Um, and again, the the C-Ray logo here, stitched onto the seats. Um, I love the cup holders because they're they're really really heavy duty stainless. But look, there's just a little bit of rubber on the bottom there, so your tin or drink doesn't shake and make a noise when you're going along. And this little seat here. Oh, by the way. I haven't got any funny socks today. I've only got plain, boring, blue and black ones. So apologies. But this little seat here reminds me of the Targa 34, which I like. What do you think? Do you like it? I think it's nice. Really, really good quality. And look at this leg. It's pouring down now. So let me just shut this. Let me just shut this. Oh, God. Well, it's sunny a second ago. Um, You've got this lovely leg and this table leg, which shows you this obviously goes up and down to make this into a sun pad. But look at the engineering in that and the down lighters. You've got the lighters here to light up the floor. Really, really nice. And then look at the space. Look. I mean, I reckon I could get, I reckon I'd get a dozen people in here. You've got big stereo system, which is fusion. And this is the coupe model, which has got the hard top and the roof, opening roof, which I'll show you in a second. Um, so ideal for UK weather like today. So you could go out boating and it doesn't matter if it rains or it gets rough, you still have a nice day out because you're not gonna get soaked and freezing cold. And I like that a lot. This boat is literally seven days old. We're late May, early June, 2022. It's just come from the factory. So it's got all the latest gizmos and the customer ticked quite a lot of options on this boat. He's got the latest 6.2 litre V8, and it's got Skyhook, which I'll tell you about in a second, and the latest Axios joystick controls, along with the very latest glass cockpit with all the Simrad um, glass cockpit um, touchscreens. So starting here, here is the joystick, which um, we'll show you on the sea trial, because we're gonna do a sea trial shortly. And you can press that there and it will keep a course. And if you just do that, it will change one degree, the heading. If you do that, it will change 10 degrees. You've always got Skyhook. You press that button there, which says Skyhook, and the boat will use GPS and the thrusters and the engines to keep the boat on station. On average, it only wanders about within a meter. Um, we have tried it this week and it works very, very well. This boat has also got the latest um, uh, Mercruiser controls. So the start stop button here, you press and that starts both engines. One press and you can hear the starter motors go and it kicks in and starts both the motors. And while we're down here as well, you've also got the Simrad VHF. This boat has also got the latest Lenco um, tab system which automatically self levels the boat and here you've got the normal anchor lights build blowers and what have you there's the bow thruster look they've even put a little can you see that it's even got a little light in the cup holder so you can see your beer I mean how thoughtful is that and then here I love this this boat is the glass coupe version as I said but look at this I press this button here and it opens that little window there. And then I've got another button. And straight away, you can get a lovely breeze through here. So I really, really do like that. Um, going back to the cockpit, there's the Simrad controls, uh, which all touch screen as you'd normally expect. And we've got the last running lights, the fusion music. But look how clean and tidy that dashboard is. Lovely steering wheel, really nice quality stainless steel and leather. The cockpit and the dashboard is perfection. This is the engine bay, and I think this has got to be one of my favorite engine bays ever. I mean, when do you see twin 6.2 litre V8 petrols in a brand new boat? 
I, I just don't see them. I mean, this boat is brand new, 2022. And isn't it just fantastic? You can still buy a boat with beautiful engines like this. And they're 350 horsepower each. They're V8, they sound fantastic. <laughs> such a beautiful sound. Now there's a few things I want to show in here. So if you pass me the camera, I'll just show a couple of things. So look at all those batteries. That's for the domestic and for the engine start batteries. These are chargers. This is a petrol generator, which is about four kVA. There's the automatic fire extinguisher. There's the waste tank. That's the Webasto heating tank, which is diesel. This is petrol and these are big petrols. There's a stay there for when you're working the engine bay. I suppose I should really have that on, but it seems to be all right. And everything in here is beautifully laid out. The sound insulation here, all the stainless steel, everything is really, really nice. So top marks to Sea Ray for a really nice engine space. Right, before we go down below and show you the accommodation, this boat has also got a sunshade, which the button is here. I'm not gonna demonstrate it to you, but this electrically comes out here and goes aft over this sunbed area and gives you a sunshade and it's really nicely done. And while we're talking about suns and shades and roofs, this is the um, roof here. And do you know what I love about it? It's not electric. It's manual and it's raining, so I'm not gonna open it for long, but look how easy that is. And you turn that, that locks it, that unlocks it, and that shuts it. And do you know what's good about that? It won't go wrong. Because you know what? Most electric roofs go wrong, as you know. I've told you about the V39 and very various other boats. The electric roofs go wrong. So again, keep it simple. It works and keeps on working. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go for a sea trial. So the boat handles beautifully. So I think we'll go back to the dock now and we'll carry on with the tour, showing you the cabin and the galley, etc., etc. So this is the accommodation. It's a very simple design. We've got two berths here. This table goes down and converts into a double. We've got a heads and shower here, which I'll show you. We've got a galley area here, and then we've got the double berths under there, which I'll show you in a second. What I love down here is the um, contemporary gray wood finish, gray brown. It looks really, really nice. There's lots of glass. And when I'm sat at this height, I've got a perfect view if you have a look at that window, this is um, Universal Marina on the handle. You can see that's the view from my eyes. I can see out the window, there's lots of visibility. But then when I stand up, you can see here, if we don't turn the lights off, <laughs> that, is that, light, that one, you can see I've got loads of headroom here too. The galley is very simple. It's simply a fridge which you see there, you've got the bigger fridge out there and a microwave and oven, and you prepare any food by using this table, like that, that folds open there. 
So this is really for overnighting and weekending at most. It's really a fantastic day boat with toilet and sleeping facilities for occasional use. Round the corner here, we have the electrical cupboard, which has got the uh, generator start panel. We've got a 12 volt panel, and then we've got the control of the power, which puts it between the two shore power leads, which are 16 amps each, or the generator. Up here, we've got some trip switches, and this is a VHF. And this is a carbon monoxide detector, which all, should, all good boats should have. And then here is the fusion music, because this boat has got music throughout. So I know what you're going to ask, does the toilet pass the floss test? Well, the truth is, I don't know. So let's see. So I'm in the toilet, shower. Oh, is there some water there? Oh God, I've got wet foot. Look. Look. I've soaked my socks. I hope that is water actually. <laughs> um, the good news is it just, with the door open, it just passes the floss test. Shower curtain, nice little trendy sink. You've got a lovely little vanity unit. Have a look at these little vanity units, don't we? Got little mirrors and little cupboards. And we've got a little a porthole here. And there's, my feet are soaked. What is happened here? Uh, I've got to drive back to Essex after this. Um, there's the shower, which just clips up here and you can have a shower. And loads of good handrails too which I need when I've had a few beers. So let's check out the aft accommodation. Okay, so this is the aft cabin and you've got two single beds. But before I show you that, I wanna show you some detailing because I lifted up this floor panel, which is very easy to use. And I wanna show you behind the scenes. Now that is a beautiful build and that finish on there is called flow coat. And you only get that with the very best boats. So well done Sea Ray, because not every manufacturer does that behind the scenes, but they have. So you think, well, what if I don't want a single bed? Well, you pull this little tag and you do the same with this one and you've got a massive double bed for you and your partner. There's lots of cupboards here down the side. You've got bedside light. You've got lovely lighting here. You've got little wardrobe here. You've got all these light switches here, and I'm going to do a bed test with my wet socks. And, yeah, it's quite nice. Look, you can see this cabin's quite big. I mean, if I was in here with the missus, I'd, have, I'd be very happy. It actually, it's actually quite big. So, I give the accommodation good marks. So let's go and look, run through all the costs so we know how much everything's going to cost you per annum. Okay, so here are all the costs. So the first thing we're going to do is fuel. This boat will do 37 knots flat out, maybe a little bit more, and it's got a 643 litre tank. So I'm going to put on the screen the standard fuel calculations that we do. So using our usual speed of speed of 20 knots, this boat will use 30 litres per engine per hour, so that's 60 litres per hour. The petrol cost in the UK at the moment, in May 22, is about £1.75 £1 per litre. So the fuel cost per hour is 60 times £1.75, which is about £105 per hour. But remember, you've done... Um, how many miles? You've done 20 nautical miles. So I'm not saying it's efficient, but in boat terms, that's not bad. The average UK user uses a boat for 50 hours per year. So that gives you an annual fuel cost approximately of £5,250, which considering it's twin V8 petrol, I was expecting it to be a lot worse than that. In terms of financing, well, this boat here is £375,000, including UK VAT. Um, in the UK, they'll want to see a 30% deposit, which gives you about £115,000 deposit. The financing would therefore be 260,000 they would finance. And at current rates, that would cost you about 2,600 pounds per calendar month. So if you do that on an annual basis, that's 31,200 pounds. Do remember 
that in that £31,200, you're paying about five or six grand in interest, which is obviously gone, and you're knocking off £25,000, £26,000 off your capital of the two sixty. So again, not too bad. Let's go on to fixed costs. So the fixed costs, um, if you have a boat again in the UK, at the moment, in Universal Marina in Southampton, which is absolutely lovely and I highly recommend it, but if you kept it down here, you're looking about £9,000 per annum for the berth. Servicing, well, you've got two outdrives and you've got two engines. So you've got to allow about £5,000 per annum for servicing. Maintenance, well, it's a new boat. It's under warranty. You've got a five-year hull warranty, three-year engine warranty, and one year and everything else. But you've still got anti-foul it once a year. You've got to clean her. You'll have to do some bits and pieces. So maintenance is quite low at about two and a half grand per annum. Insurance is about the same, two and a half thousand pounds per annum. This is in 2022. So you've got a total fixed cost of running this boat of 19,000 pounds per annum. So let's now move on to the variable costs with um, the depreciation. Now this is 375,000 pounds. Now at the moment, you could buy this boat this year and the price of this boat will go up next year in terms of the new price, and you could get your could could get your money back next year. But I can't work on that on a boat of this size and value. So I'm going to say you should allow for twenty five thousand pound depreciation in a year, having her from you. If you're fortunate, you might get away with nothing, um, and you could even make a profit in the current market. But I think twenty five thousand is a reasonable figure. So let's put that down. Fuel, well, we've done that already. It's 5,250. And we've done the finance, which is 31,200 pounds per annum, which includes 25 grand off capital repayment. So your variable costs are about 61 grand. And about half of that is knocking down your loan. So again, not too bad. So let's go on to my scores on the door. Okay, so now we're gonna do JB's scores. So we start off with accommodation. Well, as a day boat, as um, a bow rider, as a cruiser, as an overnighter, I think this boat ticks a lot of boxes. It's, it's a ski boat. It's an overnighter. It's a bow rider. It's got a beautiful um, socializing area. So I, I think in terms of all the accommodation this boat offers, I think it scores very highly. So I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Style, well, I think all sea rays look fantastic and this boat is no different. I love the blue hull on this. You can have gray, you can have black, you can have all kinds of different colors. This customer chose sea ray royal blue. I'm gonna give it nine out of 10 for style. I think it looks cool. Fun, well, what can be more fun than twin 6.2 liter V8? You've heard them, you've seen how the boat goes. She is exceptional fun. The only reason I'm not going to give it a 10 is because that's reserved for things like cigarettes with straight through exhaust. So I can't give it a 10, but I'm going to give it a 9. Running costs, well, this boat, we can't beat around the bush. If you're ordering it with 6.2 V8s, you are going to drink a lot of fuel, but you are going to have an awful lot of fun. But I have to be honest with you, it is going to use a little bit of fuel. You are going to have the time of your life, but I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 for running costs. And it's just because of those engines, because they... They do use a bit of fuel if you open them up. Quality, well, everything from the seats to the cup holders, the grab handles, the glass, the dashboard, every part of this boat oozes quality. So bearing in mind, it's an American sports cruiser, and in this market, I think you, this boat sits amongst the Cobalts and all the other quality American boats. So I'm going to give it, again, a 9 out of 10. So that gives a very respectable 42 out of 50, which on the JB Pleasure of Measure scale gives it a whopping 84%, which is really, really good. Just before I go again today, if you're enjoying these videos, please, please, please press that, press, I can't even speak properly, press that subscribe button and we can do even more of these fantastic videos for you. Thanks very much for watching but you've got a little high-low platform here as well, which I'm gonna demonstrate because what I like about it, 
once it gets itself into gear is how quickly it goes down. Oh, one, one. So that's not it either. That's the sunshade. Where's the button for that? Is it here? Yes, All right, there it is. So if I push, press that button there and you'll watch it go flying down. Uh, if I turn